Now we, I want to use product rule in order to solve this problem. You see the question can be of several patterns. It can be like this derivative of product of two functions or f is the product of two functions like x minus 1 x cube plus 2 or to the power 4 by 3 you need to calculate f prime x or if you are given y you need to calculate dy dx or it can say find the first derivative of fx okay all of them are same uh, this the solution is here so you can check it in your apartment and find the first derivative of this you can solve this one also by yourself in your apartment by using division rule and you can also solve this problem in your apartment by using division rule you can also solve this problem and this one by using division rule however if you don't want to use division rule for these problems you can also use product rule i will show you later this from 1 to 10 you can solve by using uh, product rule but let me solve 3 and 10 so that you can try the other problems in your apartment number 3 here fx is the product of two functions u and v so the product rule tells us u you first need to put u free then differentiate v plus v derivative of u this is the product rule so let us do that f prime x is equal x square plus 2 into derivative of 3x minus 5 plus 3x minus 5 into derivative of x square plus 2 this equal x square plus 2 into derivative of 3x plus 5 which is only 3 plus 3x minus 5 into derivative of x square which is 2x plus derivative of 2 0 so we don't need to put 0 this equal 3x square plus 6 plus 6x square minus 10x which is equal 9x square minus 10x plus 6 this is the result <laughs> otherwise you can also differentiate it you can first multiply two functions then you can differentiate by using other formula in that case you don't need to use product rule now let us try 10 here 3x is your u and this one is your v so a prime x will be 3x derivative of 2x cube plus 5 whole to the power half plus 2x cube plus 5 whole to the power half into derivative of 3x so this equal 3x into derivative of this which is half 2x cube plus 5 whole to the power half minus 1 half minus 1 into derivative of 2x cube plus 5 which is 2 into 3 6x square 6x square let me put this one directly no problem plus 2x cube plus 5 whole to the power half into derivative of 3x which is 3 now this equal you can cancel out 2 and 6 you will get 3 3 and 3 will be 9 x and x square will make x cube 2 x cube plus 5 
whole to the power half minus 1 negative half plus 3 root for this half I can put root 2x cube plus 5 so this is the result and from 11 to 20 these are also same problem you can use division rule from 11 to 20 you can use question rule so let me solve one of them let me solve 20 20 a prime x is equal first uh, let us solve this problem by using division rule we want to use division rule or question rule first without using question rule you can also solve this i will show you this later but first let us use question rule let us use question rule so f prime x is equal in the case of question rule we know the denominator you see the rule is this one derivative of u by b is equal v square v u prime derivative of u minus u v prime so here v means this so v square will be what x cube plus 2 whole to the power 1 by 3 whole square so it will be 2 by 3 and we need to start from v x cube plus 2 whole to the power 1 by 3 into derivative of 3x minus 5 derivative of 3 minus 5x sorry 3 minus 5x minus minus 3 minus 5x into derivative of x cube plus 2 all to the power 1 by 3 this equal derivative of 3 minus 5x which is minus 5 so let me put minus 5 first minus 5 into x cube plus 2 all to the power 1 by 3 1 by 3 minus 3 minus 5x 3 minus 5x into derivative of this so which will be 1 by 3 x cube plus 2 whole to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 which is uh, 1 minus 3 which is minus 2 by 3 so let me put minus 2 by 3 here directly minus 2 by 3 into derivative of x cube plus 2 which is 3x square 3x square we can cancel out 3 and 3 so the result will be what here it will be minus 5 x cube plus 2 whole to the power 1 by 3 minus x square into 3 minus 5x into x cube plus 2 whole to the power minus 2 by 3 this is the result you can simplify this one more but if you don't want to do that this is also fine you can put your answer here no problem now let us solve the same problem by using product rule if you don't know division rule you can solve this problem by using product rule how can we do that uh, if you don't want to use div product division rule you can first need to simplify it you see fx is equal 3 minus 5x into x cube plus 2 all to the power minus 1 by 3 you can you can take this denominator in the numerator in that case the power the sign of its power will change which is this now you can use product rule because 
this is product of two function so a prime x is equal 3 minus 5x into derivative of this let me write uh, this line but you can skip this one x cube plus 2 whole to the power minus 1 by 3 plus x cube plus 2 whole to the power minus 1 by 3 into derivative of 3 minus 5x so this equal 3 minus 5x into derivative of this which is minus 1 by 3 x cube plus 2 whole to the power minus 1 by 3 minus 1 which is minus 4 by 3 so it will be minus 4 by 3 and derivative of x cube plus 2 will be 3x square plus x cube plus 2 whole to the power minus 1 third into derivative of 3 minus 5x which is minus 5 and this equal you can cancel out 3 and 3 from here so this equal minus x square into this x square 3 minus 5x into x cube plus 2 whole to the power minus 4 by 3 plus minus will make minus 5 into x cube plus 2 whole to the power minus 1 third this is the result you don't need to check whether previous result and this result is same but two results will be exactly same if you complete the simplification in the previous one but without simplification this is also fine you can put your answer here so you see problem 11 to 20 exactly same i don't need to solve other problems you can check those problems by yourself in your apartment if you have any problem you can write the comments in the comment box then i will try to differentiate those problems in another video that's all in this video and in our next video i will try to discuss chapter 8 and chapter 8 is the application of differential calculus the calculus you have learned by this time we want to use those derivatives to understand some real life problem thank you very much